So last Friday, I conducted a live coaching session, and one of the questions I received was really fascinating. I was really amazed. No? Um, so the question says, Coach Mike, tingin mo ba mabawi po agad within one to two years? Let's say, nasa 50,000 ang salary ko ngayon, then babalik ako sa 25 to 30,000 as a network engineer. So, ang pinupoint out niya dito is that he's already working as an IT support, okay, receiving 50,000 per month, and then kukuha siya ng role as a network engineer position, pero ang salary mas mababa, 25 to 30,000. I was really amazed kasi as an IT support, malaki yung sweldo talaga yung 50,000 if you're getting that amount of salary per month. Kasi ang IT support earns around 15 to 30,000 per month. Okay? Sabihin na natin, sige, stretch out 35,000. Pero 50,000, that's really big. Okay? So, ang dilemma niya ngayon is malaki na yung sahod niya, but he's working as an IT support. And he wants to work as a network engineer, pero he's expecting that he will get lesser than the salary that he's currently receiving from his company. Okay, so for me to be able to explain this further and point out my um, answer, so let me just pull up my notepad here. So he's already working and as an IT support, earning 50,000 per month, okay? I'm really amazed. He said this is really big for an IT support, okay? I'm not belittling or hindi ko minamaliit ang IT support, hindi ko dinedegrade ang IT support. Kasi I was also an IT support from 2005 to 2010, okay? So alam ko anong klase ng trabaho ang ginagawa ng IT support, ano ang roles and responsibilities nila sa isang company, okay? So basically, an IT support is a technical support that provides assistance to the end users. So yung mga end users sa company, may mga problema sa computers nila, hindi nag-work yung monitor, hindi nag-work yung mouse, okay? Hindi nag-work nag -work yung computer nila, may problema sa applications. So, IT support ang nag-aayos nun. So, if you are an IT support, we are known as a uh, jack of all trades, master of none. Ibig sabihin, we know little bits of pieces of information about different technologies, pero wala talaga tayong specialization. Okay? So we know a, lot, a little bit of information about networking, we know about server administration, system administration, application, database, pero surface lang yung alam natin. Okay, we don't have an in-depth uh, knowledge about each technology. So, ang dilemma kasi nung nagtanong is that ayaw niyang iwanan yung 50,000 kasi malaki na yung nare-receive niya from the company. Okay, so let's say you stay as an IT support. You want to hold on to your 50,000 per month salary. You stay in the industry as an IT support for 3 to 5 years. Sabi natin within the same company. Three to five years, you got promoted as uh, sabi natin, senior IT support or pwede rin you got promoted as a team lead. Okay. Reality is that magkano ba ang increase okay, if you get promoted in a certain position internally? So usually, increase is 20 to 30% of your current salary okay so let's say you get promoted after three years so 30 percent of um 50,000 is how much so that's 15,000 so your salary from 50,000 again 65,000 okay so ang laki na nun, no so as a senior id support or as a, or as a team lead id support 65,000 is really big but imagine, after another 5 to 10 years, okay, you're still working in the IT support field. What do you expect to be in role? Mo? Probably, you, you, you'll get promoted as a manager for IT support, okay? but still, you are in the um, end user support field. Okay? So at that point, you still know about little bits of information about uh, different technologies pero wala kang malalim na uh, knowledge 
about those technologies. Okay. Let me just pull up another notepad. Okay. I'd like to compare yung scenario kanina as an IT support with one of the experiences ng isang colleague ko. Okay. So, way back 2011, I had uh, an office mate. Okay. Naging ka-close ko siya. Nakakwentuhan ko siya. Tago natin siya sa pangalang uh, Tony Boy. So, si Tony Boy, way back 2011, he was just 21 years old. Okay? So, sa company namin, sa Accenture, he was earning 25,000 per month. Okay? Sabi ni Tony Boy, kwento niya sa akin, alam mo ba, Mike, itong si Accenture, pang-apat na kumpanya ko na to. Sabi ko, talaga? At that early age, 21 years old, nakakaapat na kumpanya ka na? Sabi niya, yes. Alam mo ba, pinakamatagal kong stay sa isang company is 9 months. Yun yung maximum. Ang minimum na stay ko naman is 6 months. Sabi ko, wow, job hopper ka pala. Dami mo nang tinalunan na kumpanya. Okay. And then, true enough, wala pang 6 months. He transferred to an, a different company within the same year. So from twenty five thousand sa Accenture, he was offered with thirty five thousand per month. Okay, it's a, it's a good increase, no? After six months, plus ten thousand. Okay, magandang increase na yon. And then after another six months, na balita ang ko, it was two thousand twelve. He transferred to a, another company, making fifty thousand na siya per month. Okay. And then after 6 months na naman, talagang pinanindigan niya na, na hindi siya tumatagal ng 1 year sa isang company. Okay, same year, 2012. He transferred again to a different company and then was offered 70, 75,000 per month. So imagine, in just a span of 1 year, magkano yung tinalon ng salary niya? So from 25,000 after 1 year naging 75,000. So that's that's 50,000 increase in just one year okay so from 21 years old so we had to see 22 years old na siya dito okay imagine 22 years old single you're getting 75,000 per month okay sarap yun okay baka baka naka chicken joy ka nun araw-araw so anong special dito kay Tony Boy si Tony Boy kasi mahilig mag-aral okay masipag siya mag-aral mahilig mag-take ng exam so Nung, nung office mate ko siya 2011, he already had CCNA routing and switching certification tsaka CCNA security. Okay. So, I'm not saying na maging job hopper din kayo. However, itong practice na to is already being, um, it, it's a normal practice nowadays sa mga IT people. Okay. So, ang ginagawa nila, they apply for a, a, a network engineering role. Kahit entry level lang yan, they uh, acquire experiences. Kahit mababa yung sweldo, ginagawa lang nilang stepping stone. Once they have acquired those skills, they transfer to a different company. Okay? Then, nanghihingi sila ngayon ng mas mataas na salary. Okay? So, let me pull up another notepad. Okay. So, in comparison with an IT support, being a network engineer, okay, I'm just talking about network engineer, maraming specializations under IT, pero I'm specifically talking about um, the field of network engineering. Okay. As a network engineer, you have a specific set of skills, you have a specific set of specializations na kaya mong gawin, Okay? Ito ngayon yung binibenta mo sa mga companies. So, this is what I can do. I can configure BGP. I can configure EIGRP. I'm able to design um, LAN infrastructure. Okay? So, you now have specific uh, skills. Okay? You, have, you now have specific specialization. So, yung iba, ginagawa nila, let's say, network engineer earning 25 to 30,000 per month. 
they try to acquire skills. They stay in the company minimum one year. Okay, maximum siguro two years. Pag medyo napasarap yung uh, stay nila dun sa company, they stay longer. Okay. Now, once they've, they have acquired skills, they transfer to a different company. They apply for a higher role. Okay, let's say they apply for a senior network engineer. So, common practice is that when you transfer to a different company, the minimum asking salary that you um, that you ask from the employer is usually 30 to 50 percent okay additional 30 to 50 percent of your current salary so for example okay previously you were earning 30,000 okay and then you transferred to a different company with a higher role let's say senior network engineer so you ask additional 50 percent of 30,000 which is 15,000 so you ask for 45 Okay. Yung iba, malalakas ang loob. They ask for 100%. So, kung dati silang 30,000, they ask for 60,000. Okay? Doble. Although, medyo safe yon kasi sometimes may mga employer na negotiable pa ba yan? Sabi sa'yo, negotiable pa ba yan? Okay, I can um, uh, I'm good with 55,000 or 50,000. Okay, so they need nakikipag bargain sila. Okay, so ang point ko here is that comparing to on sa scenario natin here, you waited for three to five years to be promoted. Okay, na increase ang kanang 30%. But with this scenario, like stay ka one to two years, you just acquired specific skills, then you transferred, you gained 50% of your previous salary. Okay? And then same step. Stay one to two years. Okay, acquire this the specific set of skills, bagong skills, dun sa new company. And then uh, apply for a higher role. Again, asking for another 50%. And then eventually, once you have gained expertise on this field, sabi natin, mga 5 years experience, you can now apply for more complex roles like um, network architect o kaya yung mga solutions architect. Okay. So, yung mga positions na to, uh, mahina ang 150,000 per month hanggang 250. Okay? So, ito, to hindi to kwento ni Lola Basha nga. This really happens. Okay? Um, marami akong kakilala. So, I've seen their progression. I myself, I can attest na this is possible. Okay? Hindi to kwentong barbero lang. Okay? So, babalikan natin yung question ni nung isang nagtanong. Okay? Mababawi po ba agad within 1 to 2 years? Okay? So, nasa 50,000 na siya, magpapademote siya ng salary. Mababawi ba niya agad yon in 1 to 2 years? Straight answer, personally, yes. Okay? But, the good thing is that if you are in a more specialized role, few years from now, yung room for opportunities mo, mas malaki. Okay? Room for opportunities, meaning yung mga positions available, more complex roles, okay? more in-demand roles, mas matataas na level ng mga uh, technical roles are available to you. Okay? Unlike kung IT support ka, you're just limited to supporting end users. Unlike Sa, sa more specialized role, pwede ka maging, eventually, pwede ka maging network architect, okay, solutions architect. You design the network, you provide solutions, um, you provide recommendations to the client, okay. Or, if you want, okay, naging um, 
expert ka na of being network architect, you can come up with your own consulting company. Okay? Pwede ka magtayo ng sarili mong company. You, you, you acquire clients, ikaw na ngayon na magpo-provide ng solutions para sa kanila. Okay? So, ang point ko lang here is that if you are, if you have a specialized skill, okay, you have a specialization, okay, yung room of opportunities mo mas marami, okay, mas malaki. Okay, so I hope I have provided a short glimpse of my answer dito sa question na to. So if you decide to let go of your high-paying uh, possession and then take on a lower position pero more specialized, okay, tapos merong lower salary, then go ahead, go for it. Okay, kasi later on, once you have gained experience, you'll be able to... Um, pwede mong mabawi kung ano man yung salary na, mataas na salary na nare-receive mo ngayon. Okay? So, para sa mga sudyante na, mga sudyante ko na nakakilala sa akin, uh, and know my, my background, and how my career progressed, I've shared with, I, I've shared with them na meron din ako mga sacrifices na ginawa. And I'm thankful na ginawa ko yun kasi I was able to steer my career into the direction that I want. Okay, so I hope meron kayo natutuan dito sa video na to and I'll see you in my next video.